Alright, hello everyone. Uh, this is the first part in the Blender Game Engine RTS tutorial series. And uh, today we're going to be making a low poly tree. Uh, this is how it'll look like. This is the new tree. And um, I'm just showing you it running in the game engine. Uh, alpha and everything on the leaves. So uh, let's get started. We'll make the first, we'll make the trunk, uh, add a plane, and then subdivide it. Delete the middle vertex, and then uh, select the four corners and uh, scale it in so you get a cylindrical shape. And then we're gonna extrude them up and uh, basically start uh, forming the tree's shape. Uh, there it is. Uh, you should set this smooth as well. Uh, and uh, click that button there just so you have, so you can select everything. You can shape it however you want. Uh, this is very rough. Uh, they are merging everything together by pressing W and then merge at center. Uh, now we're going to select the top uh, and then Shift D to uh, duplicate. And then you can move that around. Uh, again, you can change the tree however you want it. Uh, remember to set smooth later though. Uh, yeah, and then tweak it, make sure it looks nice. If you, if you want to select the the ring select, where you select the only the vertices in the um, in the circle, then you Alt click to select. So you hold on Alt and then right click. There, say that, and then uh, set it smooth. Now you might have to flip the normals, so select everything and then Control N. You get something looking like that. It looks okay, but it could be better. Um, yeah, remember with those, I'm not uh, I'm not merging these two together, so. Um, yeah. I think it looks fine. So now, now we'll actually go on and make the leaves. The texture should be in the description. Uh, I made the texture in Blender. And so start off, add a plane, uh, and then um, we're going to unwrap it. Head over to uh, the UV editor, UV image editor there, and then um, open the image. Which you should have downloaded. Uh, links in the description again. I'm trying to find it. There. Leaves. It looks something like that. Uh, and then to check it out, in the window there, you press Alt Z and uh, flip it. It might be upside down, so you rotate the coordinates in the UV window there by 180. Right, should look something like that. Uh, I don't know, but we have to change it to Blender Game now so we can get the properties in the uh, materials window. Um, there, I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna make a new. Uh, first, yeah, first we have to change it to GLSL and then texture to solid. You do that by hitting N and then you get that little menu on the right. You have to add the lamp so you can see the changes you're making. And now we're going to add a new material to this, call it leaf. Then we go over to the textures tab, uh, add the leaf texture, change it to image or movie, and then find our texture there. Uh, it looks something like this. The alpha won't be on. We'll just turn that on in a second. Uh, go there, down, and click that one there. It says alpha, click it. Um, then uh, it still won't work, so we need to go back to that materials there, and then density should be down. Uh, and click it's down. Uh, there, the transparency. And just click that mask transparency or said transparency. I don't know, but just. 
there, I think that's working fine. You press P to check it out in the that how it works in the game. So the alpha slider is all the way to zero there. Uh, I think that looks good. So once the texture is set up uh, on the plane, we can go ahead and start to edit the plane. Oh, but you need to uh, activate the uh, uncheck the back face calling button so you can get the two-sided texture uh, in Blender 2.6. So now, now it works on both sides, if you look at it from both sides. So uh, we're going to edit, I'm just going to add a little more shape to this uh, plane so it looks better. Uh, you could just leave it like this, but I'm just going to make it a little more fluffy, add a bit more uh, loops. Press Ctrl R to add loop cuts. And you have to set it smooth as well, so the shading is smooth when it runs in the game, and you don't see a jacket or anything. I'll press P to check it out. Oh, but uh, you have to change the the input to UV there. There, you see that little branch sticking out on the left. So that's why you got to go back to the textures, then change the coordinates to UV. So now you have it from that UV pick over there. See? Okay. This is optional if you want it to do this. Extrude those middle lines down. Um, and then that adds more depth to your leaf or your branch. Then uh, I'm going to select those four faces. You can press the shift tab or control tab to get the face select. Select all those faces, then you project from view. So you get something like that. Now you can fit that to uh, make it work. So you have obviously the branch coming in from the same side. Uh, it's on the same side now. Just move it, move those vertices around a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the branch is starting to look nice now. Uh, making sure it's smooth shading there. I um, think we're going to go ahead and move it back into the original, uh, into the first layer. So we'll select everything and then M, first layer. You can move the light up just so you see everything. This is a process. Now you just have to dress up your tree with these uh, leaves or branches.
Um, move it so they sort of connect so it doesn't look like the branch is free floating. Uh, so yeah, that seems good there. And uh, if you're going to duplicate this, you can do the link duplicate where it's where you hold alt and then press D instead of pressing shift D. And that way if you change one, uh, all of the others change as well. So you don't have to go and individually tweak each of them in edit mode. Uh, yeah, so once you have enough of them, you can actually just select all the branches and uh, duplicate them again. There, and duplicate all these. Move it down, scale them maybe, and rotate. Uh, this is where you, where you can really control your poly count. It depends uh, from where where the camera is going to be looking at. If it's from the top, you don't really need to have that many polys. But if it's uh, say a third person, then your tree might come in at 300 or 400. Change back to um, vertex select. Select that one. You don't even need those branches actually if you're in the RTS game. So, it's just tweaking it more. Right, press P to check it out how it looks like in the game. So now let's go ahead and work on the trunk. Uh, for this you can unwrap it, but if you unwrap it just like that it becomes pretty messy so that's why we're gonna make some seams. You alt click alt click to get the seam uh, to, to get a loop. To select vertices and then control E to bring up that menu. Uh, and then you click mark seam mark seam. So control E mark seam and you get these red lines wherever the seams are. So now when you hit unwrap it looks a bit more cleaner. That's where they're being cut. And you can find any bark texture on the internet. I found this one. I didn't make it. So credit goes to the whoever made this. I don't think I'll have a link of it in the description. Uh, again, you have to add the texture there and then set it to UV coordinates. An image, image texture, set it to UV coordinates. And scale those up just to make sure it fits. Uh, and a uh, bit more tweaking. Uh, and that so we're near the end now. Actually, just make it even better, even fluffier. Uh, so it looks something like that. And the uh, reason for uh, link duplicating them was so you get if you change one you could actually edit all of them at the same time. Uh, so now I've joined everything in one mesh, uh, went into edit mode and then select everything in Control J. Uh, now you want to go there into game settings, change the alpha blend to alpha clip. Uh, remember to have back face culling unchecked, and then you can just this, this is just testing out how it looks like in the game engine when it's rotating. So it's looking pretty nice. Alright, thanks.